Um, of course, looking at a, at a group of about 100 projects at such, such pe speed is challenging, but um, at the same time, it's a feast. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I feel well fed. Today we were judging the AR Culture Awards, and that was for buildings with a cultural programme. I found the entrance this year really fantastic. We were gradually surprised by possibly the highest quality we can expect from architecture. So I think that it's been really great to see, to have this kind of white picture of what's going on right now. The judges were asked to select three projects that we would then follow up and visit. So the debate was really interesting. They really struggled with the idea of a cultural building and what it could be for at first. Uh, whether it was a, a gathering place to consume culture or whether it should be a place for people to almost create culture, culturally vibrant through face-to-face -face meeting and an exchange of ideas. I think that um, the challenge of cultural buildings nowadays is about um, being a kind of platform where people meet, this space where more close to what the public space is doing where there's this kind of exchange. Monica was talking about this physically condition of, of these new cultural spaces. I think the most important criteria uh, today was that I think the buildings we have looked to today are more open to public in a sense where they can be used maybe 24 hours a day in different sense and it also it's a part of um, sustainability I would say that you can use the building not only as it was meant to be, but it could also be transformed into uh, other uses. I think you want to know what spirit there is behind a building too. So if a building seems to be there because it's uh, an expression of vanity, that would make me really suspicious. Other parts of the agendas for the buildings, but how that can be passed on, that really interests me because that's what's going to uh, be the life of the buildings and be, after all, what people Remember, whether it's a concert performance, you know, you don't just hear the music, you remember the space in which the music was performed and it's live, it's unique and uh, that's a splendid thing. In the end they've selected three projects from vastly different places. Um, one is in Brooklyn, New York, um, the second is in Rwanda and the third is in Reykjavik. Um, and now we're going to go and visit these projects and see which one will take AR Culture Award this year.